Greenfix is a decentralized app that incentivizes the packaging industry to adopt more sustainable industrial activities and discourage non-sustainable activities through a token-based incentive model. The problem we've found is that governments are committing to sustainability targets in packaging recycling, but there's a fundamental disconnect with tracking and incentivizing industry sustainability adoption rates. For example, only 50% of the New South Wales State Government's sustainability target for packaging was met last year. There are multiple sustainability awards and report a polluter programs, but no holistic overall approach to tracking, reporting and nominating sustainable practices. The Australian Government are falling short by 50% of their packaging sustainability targets. Last year, only 44% of plastic packaging was recycled in New South Wales. So this is a big problem. Our solution is to use a crowdsourcing approach to empower the public to go beyond their current limited ability to influence the adoption of better sustainability practices in the packaging industry. We do this by incentivizing the public to nominate companies for sustainable products and reporting unsustainable products. Nominating or reporting a product generates a smart contract which qualifies them for token rewards and cash disbursements from a funding pool. When a product is scanned, their sustainability index is represented by augmented reality trees popping out of the product scan. Nominated products can earn tokens which they can use for spending on new sustainability programs or cashback rewards. The general public can also buy and donate tokens to the companies in order to further incentivize industry to adopt sustainable practices. Industry and government is encouraged to participate as they get access to customer feedback data on their products, which at the end of the day allows them to create more sustainable products. The general public can also report non-sustainable products through the app, which generates a smart contract and will include the geolocation of the incident and severity. This reporting data can be used for prosecuting environmental polluters and government policy making. Revenue generated from fines is allocated to the pool of funds, which can be used to reward reporters and sustainable initiatives through tax rebates. Industry are encouraged to pay for a subscription to the DAP in order to participate in the token ecosystem which they can be notified of nomination of sustainable activity or alleged pollution near their operations. Industry can be rewarded with tokens by getting their employees to undertake activities like environmental training and product innovation and recycling. So the outcomes are Industry gets access to the product packaging feedback data, which enables them to better design sustainable products for the public. Government gets access to the data, which enables better planning of sustainability policy and targets. And consumers now are not limited to using unsustainable packaging products and actually have a voice in influencing sustainability practices.